Hey guys, welcome back to Mong Cons TV. <laughs> everyone please do lend me your five minutes to watch and listen to my next science video lesson so this is momcon again stay home and learn more enjoy watching all right good day and welcome to my science 7 class how are you guys Hope you guys are doing good and let's get ready because our lesson for today is all about periodic table of elements understanding the basics on periodic table and this lesson is suited for science 7 learners alignment of K-12 milks the content standard the learners will demonstrate an understanding of classifying substances as elements and compound. And mastery and periodic table will help them classify all the elements. For the learning competency, recognize that substances are classified as elements and compounds. The objectives are identify the parts of periodic table. Second, Describe and be familiar on the layout of periodic table. And last is, value the importance of knowing some information about elements that can be found in the periodic table. First, let's do the recap. Since you have learned about elements and compound, let us have a short assessment. Identify each as element or compound. First is iron naturally found in our body and in the food that we take in all right so it's an element what about gold used in jewelries okay so it is also an element next is sodium chloride or table salt okay so it's a compound next is dihydrogen oxide or water So yes, it is also a compound. Last is oxygen, the air that we breathe in. Okay, so it is an element. Remember that an element is consisting of one type of atom and compound is made up of one or more elements. So let's proceed to our next topic. So let me give first a short history about periodic table. So the first practical periodic table is produced by Russian scientists in the 19th century, Dmitry Mendeleev. So what's the purpose or what is the use of it? So it is a tool where all the elements are arranged in the form of chart. So this is an example of modern periodic table. Observe it. And as I can observe, it has lots of colors and letters and also numbers. What are the parts? Periodic table is consisting of 118 elements. 94 are naturally occurring on earth and some of it are still under study. Each element is contained in a block that has the name of the element, chemical symbol, atomic number and mass for example we have here the name of an element hydrogen and uranium atomic number of hydrogen is one atomic number of uranium is 92 symbol for hydrogen is h or capital h and for uranium is capital u and at the bottom we can found the atomic mass so those are the information that you can found in each block of elements so what are the other parts? We have here the period, the seven rows in periodic table. Look at it, there are seven. But if you're going to look at it in periodic table, please look horizontally. Next is the group. This is the table's 18 column. You're going to look at it from top to bottom. And these are the 18 groups in periodic table. Look at it vertically. Okay, so these are the basic 
parts of periodic table and I hope you guys understand it. So if you have questions, please drop them in comment box. Okay, so the information about the elements can be found at the back of periodic table and you will realize that it is naturally occurring in our environment, in the food that we take in and also in our body. So let's generalize it. Keywords, you have learned about atomic number, atomic name, and atomic symbol, atomic mass, period, the seven rows in periodic table, group, the 18 columns in periodic table. So this is all for today. I hope you guys have learned a lot about periodic table. This is Mamcon. Never stop learning. Thank you and good Oh, 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 oh,